Yo, what is up guys? So we're here to showcase off the Virus Dragon deck and we are still missing a lot of cards out of the new structure deck as well as missing a really important card which is called Layer of Darkness which is the structure deck anyways. But uh, anyways, let's go ahead and check out what you can do with the deck right now because Joel Fi over here actually showcased off a lot of cards I didn't even think people would actually be playing in the deck. Now, before I get into the gameplay guys, I do have to mention uh, once again, Layer of Darkness is not available as of right now. Currently, they're waiting for the ruling on it. There is technically a client that does allow Layer of Darkness, but it's a little bit broken. It doesn't let you use it uh, using your opponent's stuff on their turn. But uh, anyways, uh, just to quickly sum it up here, uh, Layer of Darkness is a field spell that says uh, it has three different effects. The first effect is all monsters on the field become dark. So the second effect is once per turn, if you would attribute a monster or monsters to activate a card or effect, you can tribute one dark monster your opponent controls as if you controlled it, which that's insane, being able to tribute your opponent's stuff. And then also has this other effect, once per turn during the end phase, you can just special summon to the turn player's field in defense position as many shadow tokens, uh, the stats are 1,000, 1,000, level 3 as possible, up to the number of monsters that were tributed while this card was face up on the field this turn. Now the third effect, whatever, getting the shadow tokens, yeah, you could maybe use them for like links and stuff, but for the most part, everything becomes dark, you can you contribute your opponent's stuff as if you controlled it. That's insane. Uh, it is a once per turn, but that card effect is just like straight up broken. And uh, even though we don't have this card, guys, I want to showcase off some of the interesting interactions courtesy of Joel Fai over here. But Let's go ahead and check it out. So we're going to go ahead and show you guys some of the, the plays that you can do in this deck. And they look super broken. And we don't even have the field spell yet. Now, uh, I know it's up against spirals. The, the, the bad spirals. We're talking about the phantasmal spirals. But it doesn't really matter what you're up against. Because uh, with Temple of the Kings, you're able to activate your virus cards immediately uh, via the search effect of Lilith. Which I'll kind of explain the deck uh, once we go to the deck profile. But... The uh, Dragon Virus deck is looking to be pretty good, and on top of that, there's a lot of cards that I didn't even expect people to run. I'm like, wow, that actually works so good, because Link Karibo actually tributes two different times, which actually, oh, this guy just quits. He's just like, dude, that's broken. Okay, so Crush Card Virus, this card could technically be an auto win, but there's another card I want to talk about, which is the Deck Devastation Virus, which you guys will see over here uh, in this other replay, which is another auto win condition. I, I remember it back... In the day, people used to side deck that card against Mermills, and it was just like, you activate it, it was just game. It just got rid of everything that they had, uh, and they would be stuck with all these monsters that they couldn't really utilize because, well, they lose out everything, and then also has that, like, other downside. And there's also Deck Devastation, uh, um, uh, Eradicator Epidemic Virus, which is another virus card that can completely shut down your opponent, which would shut down any, like, Pendulum deck because everything's spell-based, right? But... Uh, let's go ahead and just see what uh, this uh, this is up against Gem Knights. The Gem Knight player actually has like Ash Blossom, so I want to say he's kind of familiar with the meta. But Deck Devastation Virus gets rid of all the hand traps too, which is insanely broken. And then uh, obviously uh, with the uh, tributing going on, the new uh, Dark Darkest Diablos Lord of Layer Dragon card is gonna actually let you just special summon itself. But like you said, the Link Rebo like IQ right there was just like I didn't even like think about that. And uh, we'll talk a little bit about it once I go over the deck, but I want to show you guys the gameplay so you guys kind of get an idea of what the deck does. Um, and here we have Lilith, which is the card I wanted to mention. So, anyways, you can tribute a dark monster, and then uh, you get to reveal three normal traps, which can be pretty much all the virus cards. It's not like a continuous virus card at the moment. But it lets you just set one. And, and guys, again, remember, you will be able to tribute your opponent's stuff for these cards, which, again, that is I, just so broken. Like, I, I don't know how you respond to that. Because before you go for any of your plays, if you throw down that field spell and you have Temple of the Kings, more than likely you'll be able to get that effect off. Uh, unless, of course, people are setting cards like Twin Twisters, which I just don't see to be too common uh, this day and age. For I think a lot of people even dropped a lot of back row destruction. I mean, occasionally you'll see some, but for the most part, um, you're just going to be at such a huge advantage. Now, uh, we do happen to see the Co-Atlas going to be adding the Ultra Evolution pill, and at this point, he is indeed top decking, but top decking out of a, a dinosaur is definitely a task over here, but I just want to showcase off this one because I had Lilith. I mean, he, he ended up taking the L here, but I just wanted to mouse over Lilith real quick, uh, and I kind of want to talk a little bit about it. But, uh, again, we're missing one of the key cards in this deck, and we don't even know what all the cards are going to be yet in the TCG, so they could add something that's going to make this deck even more insane. Uh, I know it wasn't, again, against the meta, but it doesn't really matter when you can just rip out every single card and make someone just instantly quit. 
Now, um, there is, again, the Grinning Grave Virus, which a lot of people don't think is very good. However, it does have its uses where you can make it so your opponent just doesn't draw monsters, and that can be a win condition in itself. Uh, again, Eradicator Epidemic Virus is another card that can just be an auto-win against any, like, uh, deck that is all about spells. Hey, yo, the... <laughs> um, Brandish. Uh, that archetype is literally that whole archetype. You activate this, you call spells, game over. Absolutely game over. That's no spells. Uh, you get rid of all spells and all their cards are drawn until the end of the third turn's activation. You destroy all cards of that type. So that basically means for three turns, Brandish, they summon one monster and that's that's pretty much it. And then you can just tribute the monster. GG, no re. Like this deck, guys, is actually going to be pretty broken. And uh, I, I've heard your guys' concerns about this deck being broken. And again, we don't even have everything right now. Um, and I want to mention, uh, actually there was a replay, I, I, I skipped it over, but um, I basically can sum it up in this video. Evil Thorn does proc the effects of the Darkest Diablos. Okay, so I want to move some cards down here because I didn't even think about uh, actually utilizing some of these cards. Now, again, we don't have Layer of Darkness, which is the field spell that lets you tribute your opponent's stuff, which is just straight broken because, like I said before, if you're able to activate Temple of the Kings, right? Because Temple of the Kings, I was like, dude, no one's going to be playing this card when they uh, unbanned it because when this card came out, it was like banned or something like that. And they're like, oh, okay, we're going to put it to legal and it didn't really matter um, because I believe it got eroded. I believe its original effect was actually, if, if you go to the anime, I'm pretty sure the anime effect was you could just activate traps uh, from your... Um, you can activate set traps or something like that, but now it's like only once uh, per turn. But that's still really good because that allows you to set the card, which is the effect that, uh, that was the last duel. I just wanted to show off Lilith, but anyways, so um, what you're able to do with this card is the original attack of it becomes a thousand, but as a quick effect, you can tribute one dark monster, which again, that could be your opponent's card, right? You get to reveal three normal trap cards from your deck. So if you're tributing your opponent's card, obviously more than likely you'll know what they're playing, right? And then that lets you go, hey, do I want a deck devastation virus? Do I want an eradicator? Do I want a crush card virus, right? You can go for whatever you need to go for. You're playing against Brandish, add this. Bam, you've won the game instantly, right? There's really no comebacks. A lot of pendulum decks, hey, you, you want to get your spells? Oh, I'm sorry, dude, no, no spells, right? That's insane. Or again, if you're playing against a deck that has a lot of tiny monsters, right? Uh, that go into bigger monsters, you just deck Devastation Virus, game over. Uh, Crush Card Virus, I don't know. I mean, it does have that effect where you're able to completely like, board wipe and destroy all monsters with 1,500 more attack in, what is it, uh, all their hand and all the monsters they control. So if they already have an established board, Crush Card Virus instantly. But you're tributing your opponent's stuff, so you might be able to break your opponent's board. Anyways, but again, uh, if you just deck Debbie them, now, at the moment, there's, with the exception of maybe like Ash Blossom, I don't think this deck really gets hurt too much by some of the hand traps but the thing is is that you can just destroy all their hand traps so like before the game even starts you just be like oh let me see your entire hand a lot of cards that let you see your opponent's hand are just banned in the game like a uh, trap does shoot uh well, my crush isn't banned but uh like force forceful sentry uh you know anything that like messes with your opponent's hand these are like all these cards can't technically be auto win cards and I'm not sure how I feel about grinning Grey Virus. Now, I'll read the effect real quick. But anyways, it's tribute one dark monster for 3,000 or less attack. Your opponent destroys one card in their hand and or deck for every 500 attack of the tributed monster had on the field. And if you had tributed monster with 2,000 or more attack, check all cards your uh, opponent draws until the third turn act uh, after this card's activation. Destroy monsters among them. Cards destroyed and sent to the graveyard by this uh, card's effect cannot activate their effects during the turn that they were destroyed. So what that means is basically... How the deck seems to want to play is your opponent gets no monsters, and on top of that, you're able to tribute whatever, like, monster or monsters that they have left over. And what I find to be really crazy is, again, that field spell, it, it has monsters. So, like, if there would be a card that says, like, tribute multiple, you can just board wipe them right then and there. Now, obviously, with the side deck of something like uh, uh, Mask of Restrict, yeah, the, 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 this deck probably wouldn't do so hot. But the thing that I find amazing is... Evil Thorn in the deck because I I didn't I wouldn't even think of this but uh, Joel Fai over here he did think of it um, so Evil Thorn is a card where you tribute it you burn your opponent for three hundred but um, uh, you can special summon up to two Evil Thorns from your deck in attack position but their effects cannot be activated now that effect is pretty much irrelevant because what you're gonna actually do is actually utilize them for of course Link summons and. You know what's crazy? It happens to be a level 1. It's, it's also dark, not that it really matters too much other than if you draw multiple, well, you just alert of darkness it, right? But the thing is, is that Link Rebo actually tributes two different times. 
uh, which obviously you can go straight into it with the evil thorn, you can get multiple, but anyways, when an opponent's monster declares attack, you can tribute this card. That's tribute one effect right there, and you get a bonus effect. And then on top of that, if it's in your graveyard, you contribute a level one monster to special summon this card. So when Link Karibo not only comes back, but its first initiation of hitting the graveyard, it will already be another tribute, and whenever you're tributing, uh, the uh, Darkest Diablo can proc its effect, where if a dark monster you control is tributed, you can special summon this card from the graveyard, if it was tributed uh, when th that monster was there. And then also, you can also tribute a dark monster, and your opponent places one card from their hand on either the top or the bottom of their deck. So, this deck is going to destroy their hand so hard with, again, being able to search out whatever you want with Lilith, and then still being able to activate it the same turn, tributing your opponent's cards, Guys, this is, this is where a lot of players are like, dude, this is broken. And I could definitely see this being a real struggling format um, up against this deck because that is insane that you're going to be able to, again, uh, run cards like Temple of the Kings uh, in the deck. And I honestly think Temple of the Kings at triple, like, I would do it in the deck. I would run, like, multiple dualities uh, because you can special summon during your opponent's turn. Now, at the moment, we only have a few cards for the archetype, uh, so there's Darkest Diablo, which I went over its effect, but there's another effect that Darkest Diablo has, which is that your, your opponent cannot tribute this card, so they cannot kaiju you. Also, they cannot target it with card effects, so that significantly hurts the ability to, of course, get rid of the card. And then uh, the other effects that I went over where it's, uh, if a dark monster is tributed, you can special summon it from the graveyard. So any of these, like you can foolish it, I mean, this guy's build over here is playing Dragon Shrine just to send it to the graveyard just to get some, you know, easy access to the card. Uh, pretty good stuff. Um, and then also we have Arma King of Wickedness, which makes it so you can discard this card to add Layer of Darkness. Again, uh, Layer of Darkness is not available in the game, but um, you can tribute one dark monster and draw a card. So I can tribute my opponent's stuff and just like, Audra, draw a card. That's so, like, ridiculous. Uh, but if the tributed, uh, if you tribute a dark monster uh, other than this card, you can add one dark monster with 2,000 or more in defense from your deck to your hand instead. So you can just be like, oh, dude, let me just search out this card. There might be other targets. I mean, guys, this is the early version of the Virus Dragon deck, and it already looks to be pretty broken. Um, again, because you guys saw where the opponents are just quitting. Now, again, I'm not sure how I feel about Grinning Grave Virus, because this or it, th you've already like won at this point. I understand the, like, the logic of, oh, if there's a large monster, I'm going to go ahead and, you know, tribute my opponent's card. And then they have to get rid of all of their cards for, like, three turns. They're not going to draw any monsters. And on top of that, um, they have to send uh, monsters from their deck to the graveyard that will not be able to activate their effects. However, it, it does say during the turn that they were destroyed. So that, that's one problem that I have. I think it should have been, like, monsters that were sent to the graveyard can never activate their effects. Then I would consider actually running this card. Again, I'm not sure how I feel about this card, uh, but you guys can let me know how you feel about green and gray virus. I just don't like it. I know it's new, so I might as well just test it out to see what we can have as far as interaction with it. But I think the, the main virus is like deck divy. Again, almost every deck is just maxed out on hand traps. And if you look at like, you know, what's the meta, you're maxed out on hand traps, right? Uh, and uh, on top of that, you have the ability to, again, completely shut down lots of pendulum decks with this card. And then with crush card, uh, I mean, to an extent, maybe you can hurt, like, dinosaurs and stuff. I mean, there was a play there where, you know, you got rid of a bunch of cards uh, from the dinosaur players. But, I mean, dinosaurs are a little bit more of a resilient deck. Uh, but the thing is, is that uh, you're going to know exactly what your opponent's going to be playing. Uh, again, once the field spells out, once you just summon Lilith, that's all you need to do. You just tribute, you, well, you'll need to add the field spell too, which uh, uh, Arahima, the King of Wickedness, will allow you to do. And there's a little bit of play. I mean, there's cards like Dark Graffer, um, which let you just send um, a, or a, you just card a level 5 or higher Dark Monster spell or someone, and then you could just send like another one to the graveyard. At the moment, there's really nothing else that we have that like gets an effect when it's tributed. Again, we only have basically five cards right now. Again, one of the cards is not in the deck. Uh, but what's cool is you could also run like Doom Virus Dragon, which actually has like the original Crush Card Virus effect. I'm not sure if I would play it. Um, cards like Return uh, of the Dragon Lords could be a thing that you could consider as well. But uh, again, when you're hitting, like once you once you get to reveal your opponent's hand, and then again you're gonna be able to go for whatever you want, and then you're gonna get out like a 3K beater and that cannot be tributed, uh, and then also cannot be targeted because you know, why not, right? <laughs>
I understand that a lot of people think it's pretty broken. I want to see where this deck goes, though. But let me know your guys' thoughts on the uh, virus, the new Virus Dragon uh, deck. Even though we don't have Layer of Darkness, uh, I still think that uh, once we get Layer of Darkness, though, I think this deck is going to be absolutely tier one. But let me know if you guys are like, no, dude, this this is the next Magic Bullet. <laughs> Or with the Magical Musketeers, right? Uh, I, I thought that deck was going to be good, but then something else, you know, obviously we had a bunch of other decks that came out and just, just it was too fast for that deck to have a chance. I still think that deck is not too bad, but at the end of the day, dude, sometimes we get things wrong. But I think it's broken. I legit think that being able to just tribute your opponent's card. It's just Layer of Darkness. If it didn't have Layer of Darkness, uh, I don't think the deck would be as broken. But again, with cards like Evil Thorn and Link Karibu, there's a lot more potential. I was not even thinking about some of these cards. Um, and, uh, dude, I, I'm, I'm surprised someone actually did, uh, Temple of the Kings in the deck and made it quite viable. But, again, Link Karibu being able to proc the effect twice. Uh, now, it does say that you can only use each effect of it once per turn. So keep that in mind as well, <laughs> alright? But, again, that can be once during your turn and your opponent's turn, uh, so... Anyways, let me know your guys' thoughts on uh, the Virus Dragon deck down below. And if you guys have any cool combos, definitely let me know. I'm always going to check out your guys' replays. I know, again, at the moment we don't have Lair of Darkness, but we, I've been waiting for the card. I, I was supposed to live stream a few uh, few times, and I'm like, okay, as soon as it comes out, guys, it's probably going to come out tomorrow. Because uh, they added these cards, they didn't add the other card. It's because they're waiting for a ruling, and as soon as that gets announced, it, it, hopefully it will be there, and uh, we can check how broken it is with tributing your opponent's cards on their turn. Like the, and you can just search out whatever virus, dude. It's crazy. But anyways, been ranting out long enough. We already hit that 10-minute ad revenue, so let's go, boys. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. And like I said, if you have any cool replays, send them in uh, of this deck. I would love to see them, or just any deck, really. <laughs> but anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like on it. Shout-outs to you once again, Zol Fight. Uh, for um, hooking me up with uh, so cool. It basically was just evil fun. I, just, I wouldn't have thought of that myself, honestly. But anyways, I'm signing out.